Joining us first here on CNBC here at Post 9 after ringing the opening bell this morning and celebrating uh, the NCAA championship, UConn men's basketball coach Dan Hurley and the governor of Connecticut, Ned Lamont, is with us. Coach, congratulations to you. Uh, what a treat. What a joy. I, I have to ask you, I mean, we all, March Madness is always full of surprises, but were you, even you surprised by some of the, the, the wild games going into the 16, 8, Final Four? Yeah, I, I think... Um... You know, we always believed in the team. The team started out at such a high quality. You know, really November, December, February, March, April, we were clearly the best team in the country. Uh, I guess it was a little surprising that we won so comfortably in every game where we never really had to shoot a, buzz a buzzer beater to win. We were that dominant. And, Coach, uh, the whole game has changed with name, image, and likeness, and you can transfer. Will your office now be flooded with people who transfer because it could be... They want to be with winners. Yeah, I think, um, you know, the benefit of this system, obviously you wish you had maybe a little bit more guardrails in place. Um, but, you know, the, the great part about this system is if you bring tremendous value as a player, um, you know, you could take advantage of that. Obviously, we have a culture um, where we never want it to be the reason why a, a player comes to UConn. We want our kids to come here because they believe in our culture, our program, how we could develop them. But we never want to lose a player. Uh, because of it either. Right. Uh, Governor, I could just ask you, we spend a lot of time talking about artificial intelligence, and I know you for many, many years, and I have to believe that you've called, convened meetings at the highest level and say, okay, look, we need to save money for our, for our state. How does this save money? Any results so far? You know, what, one thing it really has, we had 45,000 people in downtown Hartford on Monday. People are taking a second look at UConn, thanks to Dan Hurley and his amazing team. They're champions, and a po that positive energy rubs off on the state of Connecticut. I'm more interested in economic growth. If I get young people thinking about this state, I get businesses thinking about the state, and Dan Hurley and his team are a big part of that. Absolutely. That makes sense. Uh, Athletic did an amazing piece about you a while ago. Just your your family history, your dad, the pressure to succeed in in a business where your your predecessors already had done so well. Was there a moment where you thought, "This is not for me. I got to help find something else to do." Yeah, I'd say a bunch of times throughout my career as a player and as a coach, you know, I've faced a lot of adversity. My playing career didn't go the way I thought it would, especially you know, when you have an older brother who's just so amazing. Your dad's a Hall of Fame coach. Doesn't feel like you're measuring up in either way. Uh, but, you know, you get to this point, you climb the mountain and you accomplish something that few coaches have ever done, win a national championship. I feel like I kind of had my moment in a family that really pushes each other. How long do you get to enjoy it before you got to start worrying about next year? I think there was um, post-game. An hour. Like, oh. literally, I got back to the hotel and it was like the agents. <laughs> you know, you get to enjoy it, but really it moves to the next thing really quickly, sometime in, like, late May. <laughs> Finally, it's, it's a shining jewel for the state, right? Wouldn't you argue, their program? UConn is a si shining jewel. Yeah. Look, um, they are the best at research. Um, when it comes to advanced manufacturing, we got uh, Pratt, we got Secours, we had Electric Boat. Right there, heart and center, is UConn. They're the engine of that. By the way, Dan Hurley's belief. He believed in this team five years ago. He believed in it at the start of the season. And that positivity gets us over the finish line. No doubt. I just want to ask you, Governor. It, we deal with a lot of people who are very wealthy and wealthy in your state. And I just, every day I meet someone who says, you know what? I am now six months and a day in Florida. The heck with Connecticut. The heck with New York. Is this, isn't this overdone? How do you get these people back? My God, we're talking about UConn Huskies basketball. No, you You'll see, go right actually, to I was going to use it. To, <laughs> all right, you know what? Let me just tell you, I'm from, I'm from Pennsylvania, and we're a great state, too. No, come on. Come on. Give us a shot here. <laughs> I mean, it is. I mean, do you see anyone from CV? You, know, you want to talk Masters? I mean, come on. Give me a shot. I'll give you a shot. We have the same differential with New York today as we had before we had an income tax. We're going to have the biggest tax cut in the history of the state if the legislature does its job. And... Uh, I'm trying to give people a reason to stay here. We got the best schools in the world, the best colleges. They stay. Sometimes they get a little older and crankier, want to go south. <laughs> I want them to stick around. Here, I gave you exactly a <laughs> <laughs> It took me a second. Oh, I know you're from college. Older I gave you a second one. There you go. <laughs> uh, Coach, congratulations again. Great having you. Please come yeah. back. Thank you. This All is right. awesome. Jim, tonight? We have, uh, we have the governor of Connecticut. You want to know how great Connecticut is? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Don't go to Florida. <laughs>